Twins future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the flying squirrels of Richmond and the Somerset Patriots. It's baseball. It's the show and it comes your way next. And now Will Wilson and we are ready for some daytime baseball. 3-2 pitch. And that four, misses four. ball four. So a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. That'll bring up Elliot Ramos. First chance Elliot. for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ground ball to second. This could be two. There's one on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. Next to stand in is Marco Luciano. Marco Luciano. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Next, it'll be Hunter Bishop. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1-1. One, one. You got to love that as a hitter right there. It doesn't happen much, but when it does, you have to find a way to take advantage of the count. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Now into the box, Jason Dominguez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Sliced hard on the ground. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. That is the white right throw right. over to first. The dive, but he's back. At the plate now, Michael Beltre hey. in there, one and two now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So the next to bat will be Brandon Wagner. The first baseman, Brandon Wagner. Now the one and one pitch. So that's a fastball that misses. Runner at first here, one man out. Too high that time, and it's three and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Batting four. So now here is Antonio Cabello looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Matos is there and he'll bring this one in. Stepping in next, that Anthony is. Volpe. Not short stop. Dominguez at second. Oh, Wagner hey. on at first with two down. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. That exists. So Let's stepping in hit. is Trey Amberkey. Right. And a golden opportunity Amberkey. here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Right, so two and two now. But it stays outside three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. So 
second inning set to go and digging in is the switch hitting catcher Patrick Bailey. The three and one pick. And that misses for ball four so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And now here is Luis Toribio. A runner at first with no outs here. Good breaking ball and it's in there two and two now. Hey if he's going to execute that curveball and that's the first one of the day if he's going to execute it like that be on the lookout for that one that's going to be a big pitch for him today. He's set here's the two two. On the line that's a base hit. The first baseman, Jason. Stepping in now, Krizan. Jason Krizan. Shot weakly to the left. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Jason Krizan becomes the first out of the inning. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So now to the plate, Luis Matos. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now that the second baseman will at the plate, Will Wilson. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Liner in there for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. The center field number 14. Elliot into the box. Ramos. Elliot Ramos popped up. Volpe is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So next to bat will be Marco Luciano, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Now the 2 1. Two balls and two strikes now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's Three locating, two. feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Now So our situation has the bases loaded. Two men out. And that'll bring in Hunter Bishop. Ready with the 1-1. One -one. Outside, 2-1. Two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. of the inning now and set to go is the second baseman Wilkerman Garcia. Hey Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one getting a run back in this inning give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Matos is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now to the play Max Burt the third baseman. One out nobody on. High in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And 
and oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Batting nine. Now the to the catcher. plate, here is Austin oh, Wells. He'll try to make something Whoa. happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Aye. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three, three and two. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Patrick Bailey. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Now batting. Striding forward now is the DH, Luis Toribio. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Popped him up. Wells, shading to his right, makes the play one away. Now at the plate is Jason Krizan. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Two and one. One strike, the count. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So here is Jacob Gonzalez. He hit a big three-run bomb in his first plate appearance. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Hit in the air to center field. Dominguez finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jason Dominguez. He singled first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole strikes. outcome yeah. up until this point. The one two. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. We got full count. Michael Beltre is on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball's lined in the left to base hit. Now that the right fielder, Michael. In now, Michael Beltre. Pulled toward right center field. Ramos will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And now in the box, Brandon Wagner worked a walk his first time up. Got a piece, it's two and two. Dominguez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Gonzalez is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter. Antonio Cabello flew out last time up. Now a throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. From the stretch. Aye. Little chopper back to the mound. Over to first, and that retires the side. Riding in is Luis Matos. He doubled his last time up. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Now 
Second base. Standing in now, Will Wilson. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Drill down the line. And that's through for a hit. The center fielder is 14. At the plate now, Elliot Ramos. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Into the box, Marco Luciano. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Marco Luciano. Ready with the one and one. Lifted down the line and left. And foul. First and second now, one man out. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. At the plate now is Hunter Bishop. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Matos on second. Wilson at first, two out in the inning. But this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Count still full, three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And nope, that misses for ball, ball four. four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Now back. So the next to hit is Trey Ambergy. He bounced out Amberge. last time up. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Volpe is on his way home. He'll score easily as it's now a two-run game. Now back, the second baseman. Stepping in now, Wilkerman Garcia. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Towards second. And a good throw gets him one gone. Digging in next, Max Burt struck out in his first at bat. Fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. That's the ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three and two now. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. Now it'll be Austin Wells, runner in scoring position with two gone. The 2 1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Your Matt Crook, please. the 6 4 southpaw, comes in out of the Patriots. bullpen to do the pitching. Number 51. Matt. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Patrick Bailey. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Bounce to first. Scooped up. 
And he'll step oh. on first and shout for the out. Now to bat, now Luis Toribio. He's singled in two trips Luis to the plate thus far. Toribio. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. That's ball two. Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Next, it'll be Jason Krizan. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. Now that third baseman, Jacob Gonzalez. To the plate now, Jacob Gonzalez. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Highway Tang, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 51. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Jason Dominguez. Now the one and one pitch. A 3-1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. And that ball misses four. ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Now batting, right fielder. And stepping in, Michael, Michael Beltre. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Still even at two and two. Dominguez aboard here at first with nobody out. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Next to hit is Brandon Wagner. In his last at bat he's popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. And he misses again, ball three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Lifted in the air out to right. Matos is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Antonio Cabello. No hits to this point. Antonio Cabello. Two balls in a strike. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Bouncer to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Luis Matos. The 1-1. One, one. Even at two and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Will Wilson. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Again, another foul ball. The 
next 3-2. Line to the right side. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. The center fielder, number 14, Elliot Ramos. At the plate, Elliot Ramos. Can't connect there. It's two and two. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Next here is Marco Luciano. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Good fastball as he gets the swing and miss. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and stepping up as the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Two and two count. Here it comes. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. And nope. that one that misses. So the leadoff four. man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom now of the sixth. The designated hitter. Plate now is the designated hitter. Trey Ambergy is working on a one for two game so far. And that misses two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And it's fouled away. Another try at 2-2. Two -two. Basketball ball strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now Stepping up is Wilkerman Garcia, rounded out in his last at bat. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Volpe leads off first with one away. Fouled away. From the belt, the pitch. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now battle. Up Third next, baseman. Max Bird. He grounded out last time up. Skied into straightaway right. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring in Hunter Bishop. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in, the switch hitter, Patrick Bailey. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Now a curveball in there, 1 and 2 now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. 2 and 2 the count. And a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Now that. Digging in will be Luis Toribio. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. 
Wow, that's four straight Ks. He's knocking them down. Oh, He's point. looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Into the corner and slicing foul. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. High in the air out to center field. Dominguez gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Austin Wells, as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. The count now at two and two. Now here it comes. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Stepping in once again is Jason Dominguez. It was a walk in his last trip. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now right Ready field. now is Michael Beltre. He flew out in his last now A.B. Track. Lifted in the air out to right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Jason Krizan. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's 1 and 2. You see that so much left on left matchup, that slider down in a way that you get a bad swing on it. There's so many few left handed hitters that are willing to drive the ball up the middle the other way. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So now to the plate, Jacob Gonzalez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. In there at the letters, one and two now. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. High and deep to right center. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Next to dig in, Luis Matos. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Hit on the ground to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. You're Sam Wolf is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 23, Sam. Now at the plate, here is Brandon Wagner. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 2 1 home. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So now into the box is Antonio Cabello. No thump out of him in this game so far as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's the second out. Now at the plate, Anthony Volpe. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. Three two pitch. Count remains full. Hit out towards second. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. 
Who gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. You'll Henry Gomez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So kicking off the top of the ninth is Will Wilson trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Count is two and one. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Next up, Elliot Ramos struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Fouled off. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Next to hit, Marco Luciano, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Drives it out to deep right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now back the left fielder, Hunter. So now to the plate, Hunter Bishop called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. for the punch out and the offering swing line drive that's going to be trouble he pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well now Patrick into the box now Patrick Bailey fastball right back to the mound and he'll flip it onto first and with it that ends the inning Tyler Sear comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in is the DH, Trey Ambergie. Here now the 2-2. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Next up is Wilkerman Garcia. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Two and one to count. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Max Burt is on deck. There's Top ball four. four. Next to stand in is Max Burt. Now, he could really Burt use a knock base. here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Down the left field line and deep. And foul. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Bishop has to range back, but he'll make the catch near the line, and there are two men gone. And now Austin Wells. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 1-1. One, one. And yeah. there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. 
Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back-to-back -back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Throw on the first, and the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And the score finishes 4-1 to today. Richmond took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kaiwei Tang is credited with the win. Luis Medina was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. Our final line score, first for the victorious visiting team, four runs on ten hits, no errors, they left ten men on base. For the Patriots, one run on three hits, no errors, they left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please